Dr. Mason here with six tips for you for chest tubes in obese patients. Number one, make sure their pain is well controlled and they're adequately sedated because if your patient's uncomfortable, you're gonna be uncomfortable. Number two, make sure you have adequate lighting. I work every shift with industry quality lights. Number three, Place a roll of towels or sheets under the patient, and this gives somewhere for the adipose to drape down and stay out of your way. Just like we ramp up our obese patients for intubation, ramp them up for a chest tube. Number four, prep and drape a wide margin. So this is from clavicle to costal margin, from sternum to mid axillary line. This keeps all of your landmarks in view during the entire procedure and reduces your chance of placing an intrasplenic chest tube. Number five, make sure your incision is actually long enough. You don't want to fight your way through too short of an incision. Just like Dr. Herbert says, incisions heal from side to side, not end to end. And finally, number six, make sure you actually get tactile confirmation that you're in the pleural space. You don't want to create a large subcutaneous tract. So make sure you feel uh, there's a rib, there's a lung. Yep, that's the right spot. All right, there you go. There are six tips for you for chest tubes in obese patients. And this corresponds to September 2016 MRAP with Drs. Kenji Anaba and Mizaho Spangler.